Hey everyone, my name is Jeremiah Mao, and welcome back to another video. Um, I did have a video actually before this one uh, planned out, but I did record it and it failed. Um, I forgot to stop the software, and I took out my uh, uh, yeah I forgot to stop stop my recording software, and I took the USB out, and it you know obviously if you take out the thing that is storing the video while the video is still playing, it corrupts the entire file. So I couldn't do anything with the file, so now I've done a lot of work, um, for no reason. But, um, I can still show you what I have done. So, um, I decided that I want to ex 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 extend our fields. So, I got a, I, I leased a plow, and I extended out this field. Um, I also got more mods. I finally found out how to get all um, unlock or see all the mods, um, so I got some uh, some cool mods. Um, of course, I won't be using them all, but I just have the mods now. So if there's any mod in particular you want me to try, then you know, let me know. But it has to be within the mod menu of uh, of the game, not a mod from a you know other source. Since I am playing on Xbox One. But um, I also uh, I I did the same thing for over over here, and I fixed the the slate issue um, uh, with uh, with whatever I did uh, when I was ch uh, uh, when I was trying to get rid of all the bushes and stuff. And also, I found out how um, how to get my grass back. Um, I did this. Um, uh, uh, this basically um, uh, allows grass uh, grass to grow without there being weeds. Which um, is pretty, which is pretty good, because um, I think before before I removed the weeds, the farm was really an eyesore. Um, I sold uh, a tree on video, and that came out to be about four thousand dollars. So, although I wouldn't really use these trees in this area as as a way of making money, um, I definitely do see a gain. And chopping those trees down. Not only will I be gaining gaining money for, but I will also be removing trees that I think don't need to be there. Uh, for example, um, it was th this tree. It, it, it was a tree over here on near this field. Um, you can still uh, see the stump, but if I even can find it. Um, but e but either way, um, uh, uh, I removed the tree and. Not only did I get to remove it, but I also got money from it. So I really don't see much of a loss. Um, now, now, if I didn't care about the money, I could just push the trees into the river. Or o over into the lake, over there, which is, let me, in um, over that way. Um, which isn't a bad idea, but at the same time, I mean, I would rather gain at least a little bit of money from it. Um... So, yeah, uh, I also, here, let me get back in this, uh, because I also want to check out the bump barn, because there's a trail that leads out to this area, um, uh, uh, out to the, uh, out to the bios plant, uh, uh, um, and also, it also leads down into the barn, Now I want to find out what that, uh, what those things are, but, um, I found out also in the previous video that this right here, um, since this is our land, if we wanted to, I could cut down. I could cut down all these trees, and I could use the plow and extend out this field as far as. Let me get over here. I, I could extend out. Uh, I could extend this field out as far as from from this road right here and and over. I mean, I could go. I could go. You know, like. As long as it doesn't cross that road, it is our property. But of course, I, I won't do I won't do that because then the worker will have to go over over the hill and go back up the hill, and it, it and it'll just slow down, uh, slow us down. So I will extend out the field uh, most certainly, but it won't be you know to the like as far as possible on our land, unless if I was to purchase the other land. And modify the land uh, because of of the huge dip the trail um, takes. Um, so um, so I've noticed that it's the trail 
that trail is basically the thing that is dividing our land up. Um, okay, so down here is the barn and the and uh, the biomass uh, heating plant. Um, I want to go go down there and investigate because because if I think it, if I think it if I think it is what it is, then I then I am pre pretty sure I can sell my bales there, which would be fantastic fantastic because I can make money from my wheat. Then also I can make money from the stuff that comes out the back of the harvester. Which is, I think, straw. Which can be turned into straw bales or hay bales or whatever the proper name for it is. Um, or, you know, if I get an animals, I could feed them there and stuff. Huh. Okay. I've not been here. I've not been in a lot of areas. Um, I'm guessing that this is where I can get water. Because th this looks like a fresh water plant area. Like to get some nice water. Okay, do not use this water for drinking. Okay, so I'm going to break rule number one and use it for drinking. Okay, can I get up here? Yes, I can. But I am too thick. Can I get up here? No? Okay. Alright, well, um, here is a biomass plant. I'm guessing this is where I can uh, drop off wood chip chippings, possibly. Yes. Okay, it is really light. Um, is this where I can drop off wood, or is this where I can drop off wood chips? Um, cause, cause if I can, if I have multiple places to drop off my wood, then I would, then that would be really nice. My God, why throw, why throw these chairs away? Why throw this table away? Look. Okay. Um, I've played the, the Felsburn uh, map, and this is the stuff from the Felsburn map. Why are they throwing it away? Come on, I could use it. But all right, I guess I guess you, you want to have it go to waste. Fair enough. Now over here, I think, is the barn. Now I'm guessing this is where I can sell bales. Um, I want to test that out in our on our next uh, um, on our next um, harvest. So I'll go ahead and grow wheat or canola, or not wheat, canola. Um, I'll, I'll either grow wheat or barley, or whatever other crop, um, um, uh, or whatever other crop spits out something. Um, and I'll go ahead and see if I can sell it there. If I can't sell it there, then I'll have to find where you can actually sell it. But as far as I know, according to um, uh, FS15 and FS17, I should be able to sell it at the barn. Well, I might as well go ahead and start getting our sower working, because uh, since it's a new field and it's a big field, he has some work to do now. Um, I also plan to extend out uh, field 19 uh, as well. Kind of like how I did w with this, I plan to do it with that one up there, um, while while this guy is sowing, I'll go ahead and check out that field, and I'll see and I'll see how much I can actually grow. Here, we'll we'll, we'll go ahead and do barley. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'll, I'll see how much we can expand out that field. Let's back up. Beep, beep, beep. I hate driving backwards with this thing. It's worse than doing a tipper. Now, for some reason, this field bugged out. But also, um, uh, I think I, I think I already stated that I, I that I fixed our issue and I made this field bigger. Oh, also here, uh, here's that tree stump. Did I just what? Oh, there it is. A anyway, but um, yeah. So um, uh, for for some reason, the fields have have a tendency to bug out, um, and just not like properly. Uh, I don't know the right word, like, it's like, you could plant the whole field all at once, but yet, for some reason, it proceeds to be awkward and kind of bug out. Now, there's nothing for you to get done here, so come on, time to go. Uh, let me go ahead and dump out what's currently in our tank, and then I'll go over to, uh, field 19, we can get him to work, then, after he gets done with that field, I'll go ahead and speed up time so we can get this one done. 
um, and as you can tell, that uh, that person is definitely getting uh, uh, getting the work done for this field. And I might ex I, I might exp I expand I might expand that field out as well. It, it it's just going to require me to be doing a lot of tree work. Um, but but once I have the trees cut down, of course I get money from from them, and I also get money from um, you know bigger fields. So uh, I don't see much of a loss to this. Uh, of course, I might do some of that on camera, but the majority of the tree cutting I will do off camera because the majority of it is not interesting, like by any means. Um, uh, I do plan to try new things in my videos just because doing the same old things does get kind of old and especially for me. Uh, but, you, you know, you guys don't want to continuously see me running a harvester and tipper and stuff like that continue all, all the time. So I might try animals. Animals next, maybe. Um, first thing I, I I'd try in the animal category is sheep, uh, just because they're the ones that, that require the least amount of work, and like you get wool from them. And since the spinnery is right down the road, I can uh, just I can have the sheep pen nearby, and I won't have to you know drive across the across the entire map. Now, if, I, if let's say if I was to have pigs or cows or something, I might have them, let's say up in the northern part, and I ha and I'll have my own set of vehicles up there just for the cows, or something or something like that. Also, here's the plow. Um, we are currently leasing it though, so of course that is not ours. Um, we are borrowing it. harvester. But what are you doing, my guy? I guess I didn't hit higher worker. Okay, there we go. Now, now he's working. Good. Although he is working at an awful angle, it's fine. Okay, let's get out and move. Let's move you out of the way. Although you did, although you didn't have to drive that far out, or maybe you did because the game developers made the turning ra radiuses in vehicles awful. Now, it's definitely worse worse than in 17. In 17 at least I could turn a lot more sharper, now I can't. While the harvester is working, I might as well hang over here and see see what's up. See if I can expand, expand, expand um, out the field, and I can. It's just how much do, how far, how far do I want to go out? And I might go out as far as this, like, all I have to do is cut, cut down a few trees, then really, I mean, like, it's really like there's no limit I could just I, I could make all of my land I own in this game nothing but farm but of course I'm not going to do that but like especially for this area since I don't use this area for anything currently then I might as well just turn it into field because like if I was going to use any land for or for like um, buildings and stuff I would do it over here or I could just turn this area into field. Like right now, I don't have I don't have to buy a field. I can create a field. Now that tree has to go. So does that one. I think there's another tree somewhere. But um, now let's go over here up top of the field and let's see how far we can um, we can go. Because um, if I wanted to, I could have have the field go up as far as here. I could go even higher. I'm just afraid that if I go too high, it's going to get so steep, my harvester just might tip over and, you know, not respond. Don't worry, I think we have crop destruction off. Yes, yes we do. And that's just because um, I... Uh, my goal is re realism, but I also want to continue to uh, not, like, you know, ruin... Um, or I don't I don't want to take forever getting from location to location. So if I drive through a field or, field or something, that usually means I just missed my turn or I need to get somewhere fast before I forget where I'm heading. Now I feel really awkward now because I don't know what to, what to do because you you guys have already seen everything. I've just did a recap of the previous video. Um, you know what? I might as well cut down these trees. So, um, let me go ahead and do that, um, then maybe if I wanted to, I could cut the grass. Uh, like, although, <laughs> they aren't, this isn't field grass, it is still grass, and I can 
um, I can collect it if I wanted to. And it, it, it doesn't seem like it'd be bad money, either. So, you know, I might as well do that, because I think the grass was a lot shorter before I sped up time. Here, if I do this, hit this, and then I go over here. Look, let me select the proper grass type. I think it's this kind. I'm not sure. Yep. Maybe no, not not that one. Nope, not that one either. I don't even know what kind of grass type I had. Okay, I think it's that one. Maybe. I'm not even sure. But anyway, there you go. Look. Like, here, let me make it small. There we go. Now, I think this is the grass type, and as you can see, it is small, while the rest of this is bigger. And that's because I because I sped up time to you know to maintain to the uh, uh, to let these fields grow so I can start collecting the harvest because I want to actually start selling the canola because <clears throat> I have a little bit of canola inside the silo right now and, I, I, and I'd be really happy to get rid of it <clears throat> um, I do want to state though that this video might be actually kind of short just because like I said um, I did all the work in the previous video so there's n not much of a like, it's like there is a purpose um, uh, for this video just because I have to go over all this stuff or else in the next video, you, you know, I have to go over this. And, and plus, um, it's like, um, I, I need to have stuff to do and I usually, I usually tell you guys what I do before I do it, and, like, um, it in a video before that video so like if I if I want to do something if I, if I want to do something in episode 5 I usually tell you in episode 4 that's not just for you it's usually also for me just because um, in case if I forget what I need to get done I can just look back in that video and it'll you know in a sense I, I'd be telling them I'd be telling myself um, so uh, I do I do want to state though if you are going to be learning about animals, don't be watching me, because I have no idea what I'm doing, especially for animals. But, um, you know what? Uh, okay. So, uh, I, I, I don't want to cut down trees. This might be one of the shorter videos I've made, but, I mean, really, there's not exactly a whole lot to show, because a lot of the stuff is more just repetitive repetitive and and like not interesting not interesting enough to show but um good news is is we have uh barley um uh we ha we're gonna start having barley on the fields um and we're gonna sell our crop we're gonna start selling selling these two trees um each tree like one tree takes up an entire tipper so i definitely think that that this is off-camera stuff just for how long it takes to cut it down and chop it up in the part pieces and how long it takes to actually get actually get up to the sawmill just because of how laggy it gets um also i did a job <clears throat> uh, after i did field eight eight um i did field five i was harvesting um field five and i i found something out uh uh uh, after I after I finished selling uh, that, that person's grain for them, there was a little bit of extra grain left over because you because um, if you don't know this, if if you if you play or um, if you play it in seventeen or if you currently pl if you currently play eighteen, you don't have to you, you don't have to do the entire field. You don't have to do the whole field. Well, um, well. Uh, I, I, well, uh, w when you sell, uh, 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 that farmer's grain, um, it'll increase your percentage by a lot, and, um, and you continue to own their items and stuff for, or you continue to have, uh, own their stuff and hold their stuff for them, um, until you collect the profit, as far as I know. So, that means... I reached my uh, I reached my criteria of a hundred percent, and any grain that was left over uh, um, went into my bank, although it, it being their grain, which didn't make sense. But um, I'll see if I can show you that right now. 
Uh, it's saving. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, let me go ahead and go over into worker. Okay. Um, not that one. I need. I need something. I need to field the harvest. Okay, this one. Okay, this is field eight. That's a huge field. Okay, this one will take a. Uh, th this will take a while. So, um, I'll go ahead and just <clears throat> get started on it, and I'll be back once we're done with that field. That is an awful eyesore. I don't know why, I just don't like seeing all, all those bushes and stuff. It just, it's ugly. And that's why I changed my, my farm. That's why I, I <laughs> that, that's why I got rid of all the bushes. It's just, it's because I, it's my farm and I'm going to be working it all the time. So I'd rather not see the hideous eyesore. Now that, that's cool. I like rocks and stuff, so. You know, that would be, you know, good and excusable, but, like, seeing all the bushes and things, I, it, it just didn't look good. Especially all the weeds and stuff. Eh. It looked like as if a farm, as if the farm was being unkept and untaken care of. I still wonder if I could have killed all those weeds with her herbicide insta instead of using the landscaping tool. I mean, it's not... It's not the end of the world, world, uh, with me using landscaping, but I, j I, I'm, I'm just curious, because if I could have, then I would, uh, if I could have, then I, I would have done that just to be slightly more realistic. Okay, I saw the, um, I saw Helper J was full, and I turned around and I was like, dude, you really done that fast? <laughs> I forgot I had a guy working. Oops. Okay, these these fields definitely these fields are definitely like not getting as much profit. Um, but that that also might be just because I because I feel like I feel like these fields are a lot bigger than they actually are. Like if you compare like these fields aren't big at all. Now this one this one right here in a sense is the biggest of all the of the three fields but in a sense at the same time this field is not that big so the other fields in comparison are even smaller so that's why I am expanding out my uh, that's why I'm expanding out my fields using the plow just because I can get more profit that way because uh, you know there's all this space being wasted wasted by a few trees and stuff and also just want to clarify um, yeah, I got nothing to clarify. Never mind. No, I have something to clarify. I want to clarify. I am an idiot. There you go. All right. All right. Uh, let me go over to the silo and I'll go ahead and fill up my tipper with the rest of that canola. Then, um, then once that harvester's done, we can go ahead and uh, take this up to the highest price for canola and you know make some money off of it. That's a beautiful sunrise. What kind of vehicle is that? That was hideous. Okay, this is a square baler. Um, requires a lot of work. I can't afford it, and it is too heavy for my 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 machine. So no. Okay, what is this? Okay, these balers are kind of pricey, but it but you know they're not bad. Um, I'm just trying to find one that isn't going to like hog my machine down because it requires so much work. Um, this one isn't ter terrible at all. Uh, I don't want to use a round baler just because if because if I'm on a slant, those bales will roll off, and I don't want to have to go hunt. I don't. I don't want to go back and hunt them down. Okay. Um, just give me a second. I'll come back with an. I'll I'll come back with an answer. What is fall, fall protection? Oh, okay. Um, I'm guessing up there. Which I don't understand. Um, I'm guessing that's like for 
in case if you have to climb up for emergencies uh, for emergen emergencies and stuff. Well, um, I don't have a purpose to be up there at all. So you know, like if we're just going in standard farming sim fashion, it, there's no need for it. But if we was to, if we was to be realistic, if we were trying to be realistic here, then I would have them on there. But you know, oh well. Now since I can't afford it, um, by buying it, I will lease it. Now, hopefully, uh, my bales will be worth it. Now, is it tethers or witherows that I need? We'll go ahead and uh, lease this. And this will put our grass into nice, easy bales. Or, easy rows to be turned into bales. Um, then I have to also get a bale collector. For how much money we're spending... Um, on the bales, like, I don't think it's going to really be worth it. I mean, uh, grass-wise, no. Bailey, uh, uh, like, for wheat and barley-wise, maybe. I, I, I mean, it just, it just really depends on, on how much bailing we do, because if we don't do much bailing, then obviously, obviously, it's going to be a waste. But, but if we're, but, it, but if, let's say we do grass bailing, and also wheat baling or barley baling, then it then it it'll be worth it because um because it's like we're doing two types of bales so we're going to get money regardless. You, you my sir, are full. Let's go. Now I'm going to be honest with you. I really like this game, um, especially since they've added more mods and since I found out how to actually open up the mo um, like more mods. Um, and I also like how, like, they've been fixing things. I, I respect that. Now, if, look, if you see this, this is, this is not our field. We are, we weren't to be collecting their bales for them. So, question. What if I, I shouldn't even be doing this? Because, <laughs> like, in a sense, this is bad. But really, no one ever said I couldn't, no one ever stated I couldn't collect the hay or straw from from their field and use it for my own purposes because if I can do that then I want then I will because I'll be getting money from working and I'll also be making money from what they don't use this really sounds like uh, this really sounds bad like I'm not stealing anything I mean, I feel I feel like the game would let me, but at the same time, it's not my field. I don't own it, so they wouldn't let me at the same time. So we only can find out if we can steal their their, their loose straw. Uh, we can only find out if we if we can steal it by going out and trying it. Cause it cause it's there for the taking. Now, please, um, Giants Software. If somehow you come across to this video, please don't, uh, I don't remove that, this mechanism, if it does work. Because then, like, you've opened up a whole, like, a whole nother thing of possibilities for me, at least. Okay, I can already tell that this field will take a while. A long while. Okay, well, well, uh, let me get that semi out of the way because you, you're about to run into it okay there we go out of sight out of mind all right now this is the moment of truth can i steal their loose straw and hay straw or hay Steal it. Ah. Oh. Oh, I can't. Dang it. Okay. Darn. You don't have access to this land. But I do, though. Or else I wouldn't be working it. Dang it, though. That sucks. Okay, well, to be honest, I tried. I can say for certain I did try and I hate to say I did try so um, now I wonder like 
like, am I going to have a job of bailing their stuff for them now? Or, or, or like, or do they have their own purposes for it? Or something like that? Because then, in, 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 that, in that case, then, alright, cool. But, like, like if there's no purpose uh, for it, then, like, why can I at least collect their, their loose straw, right? But, oh well, oh well. Um, let's go ahead and, um, and just get this back to the house. Then I'll come back and get the, uh, uh the... Weather, weather or tether? I, I don't know. Uh, one dries, one dries the grass out, and the other one, uh, moves it in, in close to each other. So it can be easily, easily, easier, easier, easy, easier, easierly picked up. I do appreciate giants adding in the um, the trains moving by themselves. I do enjoy that. Um, just just because it gives the the world just a bit more life. Although I don't, I shouldn't say I know much about life in a game because I turn off traffic. But also, traffic is really stupid when it. it when it is stuck to an exact path and you cannot knock it off its path at all. It's like maybe if it was slightly more realistic maybe the the drivers would back up and maybe either go around or maybe it, it or maybe the vehicles would wait for for me to get around them so we don't collide into each other again. You know maybe maybe something like that. Um Right now, I, I feel like if S, uh, F, S what I even say, if FS uh, seven, if nineteen was to have an update for something, I feel like their um, their AI update, I feel feel like they could have an AI update. Like um, if Giants was to be working on the next farming sim, their AI should be really checked on, because it's like it's improving every time. But yet there is so much more that they could be that they could do. There is so much more they could implement, they could add that isn't currently in the game. Kind of like um, like what if you had multiple vehicles that needed to be transported somewhere? Like why can't I hire an AI to follow me? And I and I am quite aware of the mod for. Uh, the mod that allows you to do do that, but for people who who don't have a PC to download those kinds of mods, then I like I, I think it should be in the base game. In case if you just don't want mods, then at then at least like you can use it. Like you you can use it in the base game, and um, and I think that would would be better just because also, um. Because because it's like when a game uh, when a new FS comes out, it takes time for those mods to be created. But anyway, you know that's just kind of me. Now let me know what your personal opinion on, on that kind of mod would be, uh, whether you've played FS or if you've just seen people play FS or so, or something like that. You know maybe. Um, it's like. I think the big, biggest thing they need to really work on in the next one, because right now, I, I, I think everything is pretty good. Everything's fine. It's just more of, like, there are some things in some areas that they really need to focus on before, you know, they try and go for completely whole, like, before they try try new stuff. And, you know, I, I, th I think well, one of those areas is AI. If the AI was just a bit smarter and wasn't confined to an exact trail or, or you know, uh, track, and they and they had kind of, kind of minds of their own, then like maybe I would kind of I, I would appreciate the game just a bit more because I wouldn't have to turn off traffic. Like you could see live traffic and you know you would see ki like character. And may maybe different driving styles. Like maybe if I am driving slow, and there's someone behind me, they'd honk at me and they'd try and get past me. And maybe there's vehicles that don't like me, and they just drive slow, slow when I'm in front of them or something like that. And also, I should be a able to knock a car off the road. 
like you know j just j just because if it's in the way and I can't get it get it I can't get it out of the way because it's like as if the car is glued to the road but yet I can move a huge tr a tractor or a huge harvester with my tiny tiny little golf cart you know s just stuff like that um so Anyway, uh, I might as well end the video here, just because I have nothing else to do, nothing, not, really nothing to talk about. Um, so I, I would do want to go ahead and say thank you for watching this video. Um, hopefully next video I'm not stuttering so much, and I will see you guys all later. I appreciate you, and have a good day. And let's hope I actually properly end the video instead of pulling up my flash drive before I end the video. And I have to save, of course.